Hi guys, I'm back out again. This time I'm on the coast. I'm going to do a coastal camp and I'm, I couldn't have picked a better spot basically. I'm on a hill. Now you've probably never heard of this hill, it's called Scrog Hill and people will be scratching their heads. But if I was to say it's the hill next to Dunsonborough Castle, you'd probably know straight away where it was or roughly where it was. But I couldn't have picked a better spot because the gorse bushes are still in flower. I've got the castle in the background, which keeps appearing through the mist. You know, I'm going to do some photography as well. So with the ghost bushes in front, the castle in the background and also the sun will be rising in the morning. It seems like an insignificant hill is, but I tell you what it is. It's probably got just as much or more history than Dunsonborough Castle over there. I'm actually on part of a ridge that goes towards Krasda and it's a high bit of ground. 285 million years old, it's windsill rock. The same rock that Hadrian's Wall is built on. The castle's 14th century and there was evidence of Romano-British settlement before that because they found some Roman pottery. There's been human habitation going back to the Mesolithic period. They found flint tools, but also they found bits of stone where they've been napping. So they've been sitting on this ridge all those years ago enjoying the views. And I've brought quite a lot of gear actually. That's why I've had to try and be as minimal as I can. Jackery were kind enough to send me the Explorer 500. They sent me the Explorer 240 a while back and I did an unboxing. So if you haven't seen that, click on the link below. And I also tried it out in the woods. Uh, I was really impressed with it. And I know it might seem overkill for one night's camping, but I want to fly the drone as many times as I can. And that will charge the drone about 10 times. And to be honest with you, I don't even let the, the batteries get that flat anyway. I always bring the drone in when it's about 30% battery. So I reckon I would get a lot more than 10 charges. And although the Jackery 500 isn't very heavy on its own, with all the other weight, you've got to be careful, especially, and I'm no spring chicken anymore, you know, but I managed to hike in about a mile, and I, you know, so it can be done. If there's a few years going on a wild camp, one can carry the power supply, somebody else can carry the tent, you can spread out the load. So there's no excuse not to be able to carry, you know, something like the Jackery 500, which weighs 6.4 kilos on a short hike or even a long hike. You know, it depends on your fitness level. And one nice feature it has on the side here is a torch. How cool is that, eh? So I would say keep that in your vehicle if your car ever breaks down, you know, for an emergency, you've got an emergency torch as well, and emergency power. The side, the pure side wave inverter is a bit more powerful than the, the 240. This is a 500 watt pure side wave inverter, 1000 watt peak. So it will run more power hungry equipment. I'll put all the specs on the screen so you can go through it. The Explorer 500 came with solar panel as well, the solar saw got 100 watt and I plugged it in and it was, the sun was quite low, it was the evening and it was charging at 72 watts. Now I had it plugged into the mains charger and it was charging at 85 watts, so not a great difference. So I was quite impressed there, if it had been midday, it would have been nearly, charging nearly as good as what it would off the mains and it took 5 hours and 15 minutes to get from 29% up to 100%. I was really impressed with the Explorer 240 and I know the 500 being the bigger unit is going to deliver a lot more. And I'm not just saying this guys, I highly recommend them. You know, they make different size versions and as a, a model for everybody, for everybody's needs. So go and check out Jackery's website. There will be links in my videos and there will be a discount code as well. Um, it's not set up now, but when this video goes live, it should be in place in the description. So, big thumbs up to Jattery. Thank you for sending me the 500 and also the 240. I'm out of the moon with it. Right, I'm going to get my camp set up now and I'll bring you guys along for the adventure. Get out and put, put my teeth, I'll just leave. So I'm in the Stratosphere Bivy tonight. I've got all my gear set up there for a, an epic drone flight. 
which looks like I'm not going to be able to do tonight unfortunately. I've got a cooking area over there, mainly because it's sheltered. Look at that ghost, isn't that beautiful? The castle's over there, but you probably wouldn't be able to tell there is a castle there because it's just misty. An absolute shame. The sun's over there somewhere. You can kind of see the disc behind the mist, but nah, it's not going to work out tonight. And everywhere you look, there's sheep carcasses everywhere. In fact, there's even a, a dead one in there. What was it here? Looks complete as well. So a canny little spot, nice little sheltered area. I've brought dehydrated food mainly just to try and keep the weight down. Homemade jerky and homemade spaghetti bolognese. I've got noodles, nuts, energy bars, pepper army, two and one coffees. And I've got three litres of water on my camelback and I filled a bottle of, uh, I've got about a litre in that as well. I'm going to cook on that stone, put the wax burner on that because there'll be somebody on YouTube that'll whinge and complain that I've scorched the ground, even though it's, it would be like a, a three inch scorch mark. That mist has lifted a little bit, the wind's dropped slightly, I'm going to fly the drone, fingers crossed it's going to be an epic flight. <laughs> Come to daddy. I don't think I'm going to be able to fly the drone again tonight. That sea fret's rolled back in. So I think I'll just charge the battery up, top it up. So that's the controller and the battery on charge. The Explorer 500. It had dropped from 100 to 94%. So it used 6% just charging me phone, me camera battery, me Osmo action in my wireless microphone. This gives you a good idea of what the Jackery Explorer 500 can do. Portable enough to bring out on a wild camp. I only had two batteries for my drone and I used to always have to be really careful when I was flying. Just try to get the most I could, which was never enough really. And this is just a game changer for me. I don't have to buy any more batteries. So what a fantastic bit of kit. I'm over the moon with it. I just wish I had a portable fridge so I can put all my beer in. <laughs> oh no. Wishful thinking, eh? Right, I'm going to get some food on the go and I'm going to bring you guys along. Get out and do a bit of wild camping. You know it makes sense, you. No, it makes sense. Because it does. Right, we're starting to lose the light a little bit now, but that wind's dropped really low, so it's ideal for cooking. My meal for the night is going to be spaghetti bolognese, homemade. I've had to put a couple of rocks under there to raise the buddy burner up a little bit. I totally forgot I had this in the freezer, actually. That's about right, you just want it so it's just covering. It's a little bit more than just covering that. But as it rehydrates, you just add more in, more water that is. And I wish I'd brought a mat as well because I'm sitting on the grass and the dew's already starting to collect. 
I'm getting wet and I can hear some food bubbling away there. And my belly thinks my throat's been cut because it's absolutely rumbling away there for food. And I've got a bit of company tonight, guys. Surely the farmer must come around and count his sheep. Some of them have gone missing. Surely he'd go looking for them. If they're all the way in the, the ghost bushes and they can't be seen, well, they could be anywhere, couldn't they? I would say that's about done, actually. That is nice. Just a little bit too much water in there. I'll let it reduce a bit more. Right, I'm going to have my supper. And I'll get back to this later. You can see there, the condensation is starting to come down. Or it's the mist, one of the two. What I'm going to have to do is, is put the drone in the bottom of my bivvy, give it a wipe down with a, a tissue. Explorer 500, it's it's not wet. I'm going to wait till it's fully charged, everything. Battery's charged, controller's charged. I'm charging me, me wireless microphone. I've got two camera batteries to charge. And to, be, to be honest with you, I've still got another two fully charged camera batteries. If this looks like it's going to get any dew or condensation on it, I'll have to put it bottom of me bivvy. In fact, that's where it's going the night. In case somebody walks past in the night and steals it. <laughs> Not that there's got to be anybody here, because like, I've never seen a single soul, apart from sheep. But if it's in the bivy bag, and it's, like, body temperature, it's not going to get any condensation on it, and, you know, maybe it's the risk of it getting damaged. Give us a bit of a look at me setup. I'm in the snug pack stratosphere bivy tonight, on me Crivet Air mattress. Got me a little camping pillow there. Van Gogh Venom sleeping bag, Long John's. And this drone go to the bottom of me bivy. It's still soaking wet. I don't think I'm gonna get the, the Jackery 500 in there. I think what I'll do is I'll just put it in me backpack. The condensation doesn't seem to be affecting it, like it was the drone. I've got a couple more batteries to charge and then I'm gonna switch it off. And it looks like we've got 85%, so I've used 15%. But then again, I wasn't really charging anything power hungry. What I have noticed is I'm leaving the camera running a lot longer because I know I can charge the batteries up. And what I'm finding is the memory cards are filling up right quick. I've got a 120 gigabyte card in the Osmo Action. That'll last a long time because it's got a lower bit rate than the the Panasonic G9. I'm filming in 4K 10 bit. It does eat up memory very quickly. I've used one memory card already, 128 gigabytes, and I've got one more. Oh, wait, it's a dual card camera, so it's not a second 128 gigabyte card, so I've got to be careful. When I look at the light, I can see it looks like very fine mist, sea fret. That's why the drone's got wet, so what I'm going to do. I'm putting all my electrical stuff away now because it's just going to get saturated eventually and that can't be good for the electronics. Get out and do a bit of wild camping. You know it makes sense. Morning. I set the alarm to get up really early this morning, four o'clock, because it was getting dark last night. The mist was starting to disappear and the stars was coming out. And I thought, I might only have one opportunity. I might not be back here in a long time. I wanted to get some epic drone footage and I couldn't believe me luck this morning when I woke up. The castle and the sun rising up, it was just breathtaking. And I nearly didn't get out of bed and I'm so pleased I did. I only had like four hours sleep. I was just so amazed. I was... You know, if I hadn't set the alarm and getting out of bed, I would have missed just a beautiful moment.
Right, I'm going to get away. It's been a good one. Another epic wild camp. And I'm actually a little bit choked up. It's been fantastic. And I'm just so pleased I got out of bed. Get out and do a bit of wild camping. You know it makes sense. You know it makes sense.